All right, hello, here we are for revisions of the master division. This will be hole number one coming up for you guys. And I've been a little bit busy tied up today with the holiday and everything. So a little bit slower to get uh, content up here. Um, I'm assuming some of my content may actually bleed into tomorrow. Now, um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, you know, I'm going to play this a little bit more aggressive and maybe with, do I have a gear ball? I think I do. Maybe I don't. Autumn ball, nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, let's just see how much farther I can get the ball. There's five, ten rings. Ten rings or so. A little bit less curl this time. Ah, a great ball's going to end up costing me. I can already see. So you see what effects that'll have. I'm trying to go just a little bit more aggressive, trying to get it up there instead of laying up. Um, I'm assuming, you know, you guys can handle the layup shot. It's not going to be uh, overly complicated to do. Don't even think about it, dude. Are you serious? That's crazy. So um, if, if, if you guys need to see a layup shot, you can watch. Um, you know, that's probably what I recommend doing. You can see how tough it's going to be. You're going to have to... You know have some precision you can see I, I i did like a two ring great ball off to the side and i knew that was going to end up costing me and definitely ended up doing so um, i went probably you know max plus 10 percent because i'm going into overpower for the adjust i can't even believe he got over the water so it just gets over the water there's no real benefit to doing that because you really don't earn anything extra being on the other side it actually becomes maybe a tougher shot it's it's very tough to hold hold out from there with short iron as opposed to long iron you can just kind of hop it right here and you can't do that so much with a short iron so i'm going to play this maybe two two and a half per ring and you can see with what i'm doing with my ball guide somewhere you can see I'm kind of offsetting this guide maybe bringing it in just a little bit hot to utilize the backstop there's a four ring adjustment I'm thinking five five and a quarter rings so didn't hit my perfect ball I expect this to probably leak out to the right but you should see you know at least easy eagle there not eagle but birdie so, um, you know, no real problems with this hole. Like if you just want to go ahead and lay up, it's probably the smart thing to do as opposed to getting aggressive. There's, there's no benefit. You'll see how tough that this is going to be with short iron. You have to play it. You'd have to play very tight on this. You maybe even try some kind of rough bump hornet. You could probably do if you wanted to to go for the other side the way that my opponent did you may be able to to go off that rough there with a lot of top spin hornet is a very good club you know hornet eight is a very good club for top spin as well as um ball guide so just something to keep in mind uh alternatively you know with all the curl that you have to do this this really isn't much of a precision shot to try to bend it around that tree so probably something that you want to stay away from probably going there but if you could if you do want to try to kind of just gently get over like my opponent did you could probably play that shot the same way kind of skip it up there and then just try to uh, go for the uh, rough bump and see how that works so that's what i would recommend good luck with that hole i will catch you guys on the